Yes, welcome back. This is still Why in the Morning. My name is Ram Maguko. If at all you're just joining us. And of course, you're just in time for the next conversation of the day. And it's all about matters concerning mental health. And in this particular conversation, I am with Zipora Wanyeki, a counselor. She is a teacher and, of course, a trainer at Baton of Hope. And, of course, uh, she is, uh, 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 you know, um, here to get, shed more light in regards to matters concerning mental health. Zipora Karibusana. Asante sana Ram, how, how are you? I'm I'm good. I'm also good. Good to see you. <laughs> uh, you 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 are considering so much on the welfare or the well-being of someone. Very much, very it's, much. It's important. Our people are sick. Are you aware? <laughs> okay, Uliza, how am I doing first? I'm doing well. Yes, yes. I'm doing well. Good, good. Um, if if somebody asks you, mm -hmm. how are you? Mm -hmm. People always say, mm. I'm fine. I'm fine. Even when they're not. Yeah. Is it possible for us to establish how fine somebody is? Mm -hmm. And of course, um, uh, as we start this conversation on mental health, mm -hmm. how best can you pick out mm -hmm. uh, uh, signs of uh, uh, somebody who is not mentally healthy, mm -hmm. even though they have answered the question, mm -hmm. I'm fine, thank you. There are so many ways that you can be able to know that somebody is not really doing well mm -hmm. in as much as... Uh, they say I'm fine. Yeah. It is African when we are greeted. It is only courteous that we say we are doing fine. But <laughs> yeah. you know that uh, maybe when we look at you, um, you don't look like it mm. when you're not healthy. Yeah. And uh, maybe um, we can tell people maybe the symptoms to look for when you, you, you hear somebody is depressed. Yeah. Because I believe uh, you would want us to talk about uh, probably a depressed person and how we can know them. Yeah. One way that you can know this person is depressed and mm. is not doing well mm -hmm. is sadness. Mm. sadness and it can be read from your face yeah. i can tell you're doing fine by the way you appear mm. by the way you dress mm. by the way you're doing your things so it doesn't need uh, a lot of rocket science to know that somebody is not doing very but, 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 <coughs> but, but you know sometimes we, mm -hmm. we, we can misjudge uh, I, I know you've seen um how um uh, some people can look at somebody and they say ah, i'm to you, who, who mm. you, you mm. this child mm. uh, he's not doing well mm -hmm. but the child is actually okay mm -hmm. is it is, do we mm -hmm. have that such cases of uh, not really. misjudging? Huh? When you're not mentally fine, huh. you may not pretend. And even you, even if you try to pretend, you know, I always tell people, there are these friends that we have, mm. and they come and say, how, how are you, Ramu Nendeleaje? I am be no, you're not fine. Because we can tell, there are things that we can look, and you cannot pretend for long. For example, this person who breaks down uh, for no proper reason, you're crying, but you don't even know why you're crying. You are constantly sad, but we can't even tell why you're constantly sad. This person who all of a sudden used to be having some boys out, uh, loves cinemas and such, all of a sudden gets reserved. An attack mm -hmm. does mm -hmm. not enjoy anything. This person we can tell, oh, he's not doing very, fair, very fine. Mm -hmm. Today, um, this is uh, 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 mental health awareness. Yes, uh, month. yes, yes. And um, I want us to pick it at a different angle this time, mm -hmm. um, where we talk about the solutions, how mm -hmm. best we can help them. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I know, yes, we, we've managed to talk about how best we can pick the sure. uh, signs up, the signs and the symptoms. But now, mm -hmm. we, we, we've never touched on the mm -hmm. solution, mm -hmm. how to handle... How do you help this person? Yes, how do you help this person sure, sure. when you realize that they are not mentally healthy? Mm -hmm. What is the best solution to mm -hmm. handle it? Because mm -hmm. we need to also avoid stigmatization. True, true. Uh, now that we have told you how to look for, mm. how to know your friends are ailing, and you're now able to, there, there are some things that you're able to look for in them, uh, how you can be able to help this person who is constantly sad, who is not speaking, who has no energy to wake up. A depressed person has no energy mm. to wake up or do work or do what. They are not interested. They don't feel like they have been in a state of hopelessness for too long. Yeah. So number one way that you can help this person mm. is let this person have support. What kind, uh, support, what kind of support you by the about? loved ones. You know, one of the characteristics of a depressed person mm. is they tend to move away from people. They, they, they are loners. Uh -huh. They enjoy their own company, mm. crying, thinking, you know, all those things. Eh? You know, feeling empty and depressed. Now, this person, you mm. can help mm. by trying to befriend him or her. Mm. By making sure that they are constantly supported. The other day, we were doing a show on loss. Mm. Somebody who has just lost uh, a relative. Yeah. And you know the, the, the Kenyan style. Uh, people, somebody has died, watu wa miondoka, umebaki peke yako. That depression can make you depressed. So if you want to help that person, make sure that you form serious support group for this person. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. So make sure that if it's a, it's a lady who has lost the husband, get somebody to stay with this person. They're able to talk. The more you talk, the more you occupy your brain. So you visit them regularly? Yes. Even having this person, if possible, we actually advocate. You can even share a bed if it's a lady. Mm. Yes. The person who has been left. Imagine this person was spending uh, the night with the husband in the same bed. Now the husband is in the grave. But the same bed remains. What do wow. you think of that wow. room? Wow. So get somebody who comes inside that room and probably spend uh, time with this lady until she's able to heal so, and vice versa so even for men. Who, who is it that is best suited to, to do such a thing? Because um, many consider that to be a bit uh, too close yeah. in terms of privacy. Oh, yeah. you know, who are the best persons who are best suited okay. for this? I'll say this, eh? That's a difficult question. Mm. But uh, this is Nairobi, this is Kenya, everybody is working. The best people who would have done that were the immediate children. The sons, the daughters. But now it's not possible because you have to work. Yes. Even after these laws, you have to go to work. But so at least friends? you can get, yes, a friend who can just come and stay with you as you mourn, walk with you through this journey is best suited for that. As long work. as you get somebody who can somebody be Somebody you can talk to. Avoid and being lonely. It'll kill you. Uh-huh, You'll be dead uh-huh, by the time you, you uh-huh. come to realize because uh-huh. you tend to overthink. So support system is very important. And uh, uh, all right, what other solution do you have for uh-huh. uh, mental health? Because now we also have others who are. Uh, uh, it is not about death; it's about matters concerning financial constraints. Sure, sure. Uh, we, we we were looking at how do we help these people who find themselves in such situation. Yes. Let's talk about this person who is in depression because of the current state of finance uh, uh, finances. Yes. You know, the economy of Kenya is not doing very well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. People are suffering, and um, I always say that if there's one person who is affected, it's the man. He's the he, he he's the breadwinner, and he has an ego to protect. So your wife expects that you're mm-hmm. providing for her, feeding the family, and everything, and you can't do that. You yeah. feel crushed. You yes. feel emotionally drained. It, it breaks you. It breaks and, you. And sometimes you feel less of a man. Yes. And if you're having these ladies that you have to do, because they're wearing Omegani, Mutu Aezi provide, where are you? Where are you here? We need to stop such Are you not aware that there are men out there who, outside there who can do it better than you? Wababa you know, you <laughs> feel bad, you feel crushed. I yeah. mean, kuna mutu aneza kukuwa mukia. Especially the Nairobi ladies. Yeah. Oh, they can be something. So, how do you help this man who is struggling? Mm. Number one, it is always good to affect, uh, I mean, to accept. Mm. We have come from a pandemic. People have lost jobs, people have lost status businesses people have even relocated to shags mm-hmm. and so if you are living in a house that maybe was uh, way too high it is no, there is no harm in rescheduling your life you'll come back you are the same person who was working it is good to accept your situation so, accept so don't heed yourself namadeni mm-hmm. at you're living in kirishwa and uh, the house was worth a hundred thousand uh, there's no harm if you come back to a cheaper house and you know they end up taking so many oh, yes. loans uh, yes that they you know get they themselves adapt to your depression fixed. Yeah. So we keep on telling them mm. it is important that you assess your life, re- reorganize your goals, mm. set attainable goals. You are earning one M. Uh-huh. It is not able. Uh, you are not able to make that kind of money. Uh-huh. Set attainable goals. And actually, what these goals do, they motivate you. If you are able to hit small milestone, you become motivated. Wow, mm-hmm. wow, wow. Uh-huh. Let's talk about uh, our work-related issues. Mm-hmm. For those who are working mm-hmm. or having a business mm-hmm. and things are not working out the way they expect and they're going through a, you know, a, 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 a season of depression, mm-hmm. solution for them, mm-hmm. apply that, that can they apply? Thank you. Uh, you realize that uh, I, I was telling the other lady that there are two types of stress. Eh? Yes. Com- okay, there are many, but basically we can classify into what you call eustress yes. and distress. Now, eustress is good stress. Used, oh, what yeah, do, what do you mean? What ram- is the distress and eustress? Oh, yes. What is eustress? Eustress is good stress. You need, your body, your system requires some amount of stress to operate. Uh, oh, yeah. Why did you wake up? It's because you're coming to look for bread. Yes. Yeah, that is good stress. Okay. If you are not there, you'd become obese. You'll uh-huh. be sleeping the whole day, be turning lazy, this yeah. way, this uh-huh. way. So you require some amount of stress. To uh, I mean, now, this good stress is uh, you have some goals to attain. Mm-hmm. You, you, you're hoping by December you have done this. Now that is good stress. Trying to work hard. Oh, yes. yes. Now, distress is now the bad stress. Mm-hmm. When it makes you stop living your normal life, mm-hmm. that becomes distress. Mm-hmm. So you hear somebody is distressed. And uh, uh, somebody made fun of what I said. Yes, even babies can be stressed. I, I remember there's a time we said that. Oh, we, yeah. We, yeah, you babies said can, babies can be Why stressed. do you think Ram will hold a baby and the baby looks at you and cries? Nahakujui. 
Uh, he's only a communicator. I don't know you. I don't know this Maybe your face is stressing oh, the baby. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. The baby is trying to communicate. I'm used to mommy's voice oh. and to mommy's face. I can't recognize this version of you. The baby cries. They don't have another language. All right. Animals too get stressed anyway. Are you aware? Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. yeah. Animals yeah. do get stressed. Uh -huh. uh, in Mombasa, I went to a place where there was uh, some people cleaning a uh, hala park. They were cleaning the, the snake uh, houses. And I asked, how do you clean a snake house? I was told, right. you time when the, stress is not, the snake is not stressed. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> so anybody can be stressed. So when you're at work, yes. how do you solve it? Now, this stress work? that you're getting from work, yes. you need to find out, is it getting you emotionally uh, what you call burnout? Mm. Uh, uh, is it that you're not achieving? Is it that you're not hitting target? Is it that you set a target that was way too high? Mm. Are you getting? Because right. most of the people have issues with the time management. Okay. You are to meet a deadline. You are unable to meet a deadline. And so here you are, mm. struggling in the middle of the night to type and send emails and everything and it's not working. So one of the best ways that you can handle your job is one time management. Manage your time very well. All right. Very, very well. Mm. And I always tell people, don't carry work home. What was meant to be in the office, do it in the office. Mm. What was meant to be at home, do it at home. When you start doing vice versa, mm. I can imagine you ram sasa ukua hapa umebeba atingua tukiongea unafuafua nguo. That was meant to be done at home. Mm. So when you start mixing, because you didn't manage your time well, yeah. that is why you carried some work at home. So manage your time well. Manage your time very do well. Do what is supposed to be done at the right place. At the right time. Uh -huh. And also uh, it's important that you cultivate some social group, even in workplaces. Right. People who can cover up for you. People who can assist you. You are away and you can't finish this task. Somebody can step in and do it for you. What is your final word? Mm -hmm. Parting short when mm -hmm. it comes to mental health. It is Mental Health Awareness Month yes. and I want you to talk to that youth watching you today. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just say to the uh, our youth today because I know we are here to reach out to them. Number one, most people have been depressed and stressed because of what you call self-concept self-image, mm. the appearance. I don't know who told our youth that uh, you have to be uh, this body size or you have to be like this so that you can fit in the society. Somebody made fun that So do not stress over uh, yourself over something. When too much is too much, go to a counselor, go to a therapist, seek help, avoid staying alone. Manage your diet, manage your lifestyle, know what you do, do what you like best, set your time, set your target wow. very well, and stay wow. motivated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, we should have this conversation even more. <laughs> sure, Thank you so sure. much. That is uh, Zipora Wanyeki mm -hmm. joining us today in this particular conversation. She is a counselor, a teacher, and of course, also a trainer. Thank you so much, Zipora, for coming. I You're welcome. It. All right. Yeah. That represents to the end of this conversation, but we still have more coming up your way. Keep it right in the morning.